finding story ideas for week three. So we're going to take a look at where you're able to uh, generate some leads, some story ideas that you can work on for your two uh, assessments. Let's take a look at some uh, places where you can start. Now, one of the places very easy is where you live, in your condo block, in your student dorm, in your where you live, in your residency. Um, start there, start looking at the community around you. Some places have residence associations, some places have committees that look after the condo area. Find out what issues drive them. Perhaps some people even have groupings for exercise or social activities. See what, what uh, interests the place that you live in. So stay close, stay within your neighborhood. as a great way to start developing your connections, your interest in what goes on around you. Then beyond that, um, there are events. Now with uh, the pandemic, with lockdowns and most of, our, most of the world, in fact, all of the world, there are events that are done virtually. Are there anything that interests you? Are there anything that will you think will, will pique the uh, interest of your readers or your viewers? Go ask, go look, look through these residence group, look within uh, where you live in a student's dorm. Like I said, there's plenty of activities, people sort of brainstorming ideas of how to promote a certain thing, how to maybe learn a certain new skill. So have a look around where for some events that you can start uh, uncovering. And then social causes. Social causes are a great way to get a, a, a meaty uh, news topic. Like this one, it's a glimpse of the protests uh, of the, the murder of George Floyd. It really sparked an interest throughout the world about the rights of Black people and also other marginalized community. Are there social causes within where you live, in the country that you're from? Are there social causes that are really getting people riled up, getting people to move for change? Are there something uh, that you can investigate? It could be a cause to protect children, vulnerable women, um, against deforestation. Maybe in the area you live in, the, com the residents are gathering together to uh, fight over development. Is that something you can do to develop into a story? Further on, if you're thinking, oh no, I'm, I'm a lot on my devices. I watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of Netflix or anything online. I see a lot of advertising. Advertising is one way to capture a sense of what companies are telling their consumers. And how companies do that is through all these different TV ads, uh, viral ads, they do it on banners, they do it within your phone. What are the trends that are being uh, uh, sort of captured, you know, whether trends in eat certain types of food, fashion, uh, what people are doing on TikTok, what advertising are, is there, that material that you can look into, into developing some ideas for your story. What are people interested in that companies want to advertise? So, Take a look at simple uh, billboard ads. If you're driving or moving around, if you're watching things online, things that pop up now and then, or even if you're scrolling on your phone. And then if you're looking at quite specific uh, business uh, thinking, you have businesses trying to promote certain products, certain services as things have moved online, what are people offering? How do they do, do reach their audiences? They re tend to reach either, if not advertising, they will use press releases. Now, press releases are you know, typically one pager full of information to tell journalists in order to be written into a story to inform the public. So press releases can be accessed now very easily online through company websites. If you look for the header or for the newsroom or media releases, pull out anything from that. It's not only just private companies selling products and services, but also organizations championing a certain cause. If they have a, a, a conviction they want to, to hold on to, they on a message they want to deliver to the audience. Journalists are the, is the tool to reach to their said readers or certain audiences. And of course, the most obvious is going online to your social media feed. If you're a big social media user, 
you know where to look. Find out what videos are making, uh, you know, getting the, the likes, getting the high traffic, find out what's trending, why have certain influencers gone on this trend. These are the types of uh, leads that will take you into investigating a particular issue a little deeper. Um, also, what are people doing on the gaming sites? It's really quite interesting to see the conversations that are happening within the gaming community. Are there issues there you can bring up and write uh, for as a, as a way to present your new stories? So once you've got an idea where you want to start a particular sector, Try the mind mapping technique. Mapping out your ideas is a great way to start investigation, not, not only for new stories, but also for your other work. But it is one way of fleshing out the ideas that you may want to start following your leads on. So for instance, in this mind map we see in front of us, it's a very broad topic of health. How is health uh, affecting a person, say during the coronavirus? Is there sleep deprivation? Is there mental health issues? Is there uh, anxiety? Uh, how is it affecting senior citizens? So focus on a particular aspect of health and then start mapping out these ideas using colored pencils, using graphics, using anything that you need and help using your hands to do it, I find really helps sort of stick the issue in the head because it just helps us to form really uh, stronger memories and understanding of a particular issue. So start thinking of using this technique to help you draw out the intricacies of a particular topic. So go around, look around online or offline, find issues and start your investigation. Look for ideas that you think will rock your readers, will inform, educate them as a journalist.